Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! How about we have ourselves a recap real quick? To break through Zeo's magic barrier, we'll need the Psycho Wand. And it's on the topmost floor of the Ladia Tower? Let's defeat Zeo with that wand. And Alice needs to get better quick. As it so happens, we are, I assume, on top of the Ladia Tower. Let's see if there's a wand up here. Yep, um, there's definitely something going on there, and what do you know, it's something that is flickering. It's a good thing that I'm switching over to 60 frames per second because now you can actually see the flickering. Assuming you're watching this at Twitch, I don't know what's going to happen once I, once I port this over to YouTube. As a reminder, by the way, in regards to Alice, we went up against the bad guy, Zeo, recently, and uh, it did not go so well. Alice got hit by some evil energy beam, and now she's been afflicted by some evil virus, which hopefully does not wind up turning her evil. I wouldn't put it past this game to do that. Alright, let's see what this is. And suddenly no more flickering because dialogue. So, this is the Psycho Wand. We're assuming that be the case. We can now break the barrier! Ha ha ha! This is it! I've been waiting for this moment! Upon the decree of Zeo, I am taking the Psycho Wand. I had a feeling it wasn't going to be that simple. You're Zeo's underling? Humph, what a brain-dead kid you are. Jazz, don't let him get the Psycho Wand. You don't have to tell me that. Stop ordering me around all the time. Come on, is this any time to bicker? It's coming! Hooray! We get to start with a boss fight. Is this like a bigger version of the paralysis bug? Guy Laguya. Probably something that we do not want to take lightly, so first things first. Unlikely as it might be, let's try Crash. Let's see, you... Githu is stronger Sue. Healing... Shoot, what was Rimpa? Rimpa, Rimpa, Rimpa... Ah, um, let me think. Let me, let me look it up, rather. Rimpa! Cures paralysis. Oh, I thought there was something else that cured it. Okay, never mind. Xanis attack. All antidote, regular Sue, Riz. Let's start with stunning it. I don't know whether an earth attack will work on a flying enemy, but stunning seems like a good idea. Let's see here. Saner? Debon. Okay, what was Debon? Increased defense. That's actually pretty good. Let's start with that. And you. Phonon. Um. Phone. Let me do this right. Phonon. Strong wave damage. It's an attack that hits everybody. There's also barrier. Hold on a sec. Barrier is magic defense. Well, I don't know if we doesn't necessarily need magic defense, but sure, give that to everybody. And that leaves you. I'm just going to start off with Flaily with you because, quite honestly, I kind of been failing to use Flaily. Let's see what this is actually like. Nerg up. Kind of weird. You would start with a critical hit, wouldn't you? Alright. Well, that crash didn't work, of course. But War Cry should help, theoretically. It, it, at the very least, boosts your own attack. I don't know if it can be combined with the other kind of buff. You cross cut. 
Saner, I think. Saner was agility up. I don't know how good that is, but it's probably good to have it. And then... No, I think that's about it. Yeah. Just do a regular attack. Did I not see Flaily happen? Let me look at that again. Alright, that's what that is. Okay. Not nearly as impressive as I thought it would be. Okay. Your attack power is up. Go at it. Air slash Gifu. Let's try Gifu. And... Illusion. Alright, what is Hewn? Hewn is strong wind damage. How strong are we talking here? That's actually better than your other attack. Let's go with that. Ugh. And that is why I'm thinking carefully about my battle strategy. Because I know these enemies can do that. Heal yourself, please. And double slash. Continue to use that attack. I know that Hyun can do around 90 damage. What if we just use Gifoy? Not as good. Uh, you know what, just in case there's another critical hit coming, how about a little restore for Grizz? Meanwhile, we'll also try... Let's see what happens if we just... No... no. I don't think that'll be really helpful. Giwat. Oh, there's this weakness. Yes, let's just use that. Oh, what? That, like, took all her health. That's not cool. Okay, I know we have a, an item that can revive, right? Curve paralysis, antidote... Andro, try mate, die mate, repair kit, escape pipe, Pero, perol, mate? I, th I think that was just something random I bought in the one place, but who knows? L let me let me double check this stuff. Do we have one of the revival items? I certainly hope we do. Otherwise, she's going the rest of the fight dead. Did that seriously just take all of her health? Alright. The Moon Dew is the revival item. And also Soul Dew. What is Paroli? That's apparently not a thing. Unless it's a key item. Is there a page for key items? I don't see one. It's probably just one of those items I bought in the, um, the gift shop. So, Rika's out of the fight. That sucks. Oh, by the way, while I was traveling back up the tower, I found a Shadow Blade for Chaz. It's weaker than what he has, so I didn't equip it. It also sounds like possibly a cursed item, but I don't know if cursed items are a thing. It's too bad I don't have an, a spell that would bring attack power down. That's probably going to be, or would have been, really helpful. Let's 
Stop with a critical hit! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, that's right. Demi's an android. I can't use Gibras on her. Well, it's a good thing that the game actually is stopping me from using it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't stop you whenever you're outside of battle, but in battle, thank you for stopping me. Um... In that case, you can heal yourself. Repair kits, I saw one. I don't know how much it heals. In fact, you know what? Just use recover. That's why I used recover. I don't know how much the repair kit healed, but I know that recover is pretty dang good to have. You know what, might as well try this phone on. It's the boss. Oh wait, never mind. We're done with the boss. So, Rika loses out on a crap ton of experience. You know, if I was playing on my own time and not streaming, I would have reset the game so that I could try to get through the fight with everybody getting experience, but we're live. and Grun. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hey, hey, guess what that spell is? Guess what that spell is? That spell... Let me double check before I make a fool out of myself. Reaver. Yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. It's a revive spell. Well, gee, you couldn't have learned that a little bit sooner? Whatever. Use it now. <laughs> Hold on, before this actually gets used, look at our stat. Die oh, it went away automatically. When somebody's KO'd, I'd never noticed it before, but their stat says dying. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, get a little bit more healing action going on, except not you, because you ran out during that fight. It's a good thing the fight ended then. Alright, let's get this thing. There we go, Psycho One. We did it! So, as long as we have this Psycho Wand, there's no need to fear Zeo. You two, is anything wrong? That's a weird question, why do you ask? Rika, you too. Rune? What's going on, you two? Chaz! We've got to return to Krupp right away! Huh? Get a move on it! We're leaving! I, I feel like something was lost in translation there. Chaz! Alice's condition has suddenly taken a turn for the worse. Alice! Chaz, we're able to meet Rune? That's good. Alice! Alice! Rune, can't you do anything with your powers? The Black Wave is not a product of Zeo alone. It contains an evil more evil power which I can't cure. Chaz, don't worry. Chaz... Rune. I'm here. I'm right here, Alice. Rune. Please help, Chaz. Rune. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Alice. Chaz. Come here. Let me take a good look at you. You become a honorable adult before I knew it. 
from now on, you have to carve out your own destiny by yourself. Alice! Don't say that! Alice! J as think you. Alice! <laughs> well, dang. I thought for sure we'd be getting her back. You can't sleep? What am I doing? Chaz? In a far off country, before Alice picked me up, I did some pretty bad things. When I joined forces with Alice as a hunter, I was at last able to earn some money and live a pretty comfortable life. Everything seemed to be going fine. But now, Alice is gone. Of course I want to avenge her death, but what am I to do? Should I fight? If so, what for? Money, huh. Do you really think that Alice was fighting just for money? What? Is fighting technique the only thing you learn from Alice? I... You better think it over. Hey, Chaz? I'm thinking... It was really a good thing that I was able to get out of the bio plant. I've learned so much from Seed. About oceans, mountains, towns, and people. There's a big difference between knowledge attained from studying and actual real-life experiences. Like, the smell of the ocean, the blue of the mountain... <laughs> the bustling of a town, and the warmth of people. Thank you, Rika. I get it. It's okay. I'm going to return to the Academy. I think it's best to report on what has happened so far. I plan to convince the Academy to come up with a plan of action. Good. I'm counting on you, Han. I'm also going to return home. The children are waiting for me. Chaz, keep your spirits up. Okay. We'd better go too. So, you know, this is probably the first game I played where a character death happened over time rather than immediately. I won't name any names, but usually there's like, boom, you're dead, and there's a sad scene, but here it was spread out, and I kind of like that. And while I feel like that last cutscene was slightly rushed and needed a moment of pause, that was really well done, I think. Here lies Alice Bringwen. Alice. I wonder if anybody has anything to say about this situation. Um, so far, no. You're talking about an island that we haven't gone to yet. No, I guess nobody's saying anything. Except possibly you? Oh, that such a thing has happened to Alice. Keep your spirits up, Chaz, and best of luck. Yeah? 
We're going to need it. Uh, just real quick, I'm over here where the dog used to be. I will admit I was a little bit angrier at that subquest than I needed to be. I mean, had I remembered that the dog was here, that would have definitely sped things up. And this guy did tell me what direction I needed to go, even if it wasn't somewhere specific. I still feel like the subquest could have gone a little better, but remembering the dog was here definitely would have made things better, because at least being told to go north, that does narrow the places down quite a bit. How's my health, by the way? Oh, we're actually all healed up. That's good. Okay, well, after all that, I feel like saving. So I'll save here. And I suppose now is actually a good time to take an episode break. So, we will be right back. And when we come back, we're heading back to Zio's Tower to break down the barrier, blocking the way into the basement where, oh boy, that's a whole bunch of stuff that we need to recap, isn't it? We'll get back to you on that.